Hello everyone, good day. Welcome once again to the Ecotourism Journey channel. This video is created in response to the new normal of delivering academic requirements. This is purely instructional in nature. In this video also, it emphasizes further insights on the Philippine culture and tourism geography. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Describe the brief overview of the Philippines 2. Practice the culture and traditions of the Filipino 3. Describe the glimpse of the country's tourism 4. Determine the practices of tourism industry 5. Culture and geography of the Philippines. Identification. The Republic of the Philippines was named the Filipinas to honor King Philip II of Spain in 1543. The Philippine Islands was the name used before independence. Location and geography. The Republic of the Philippines. A nation of 7,107 islands with a total area of 111,830 square miles 307,055 square kilometers. As located on the Pacific Rim of Southeast Asia. Luzon, the largest island with one-third of the land and half the population, is in the north. Mindanao, the second largest island, is in the south. Visayas is located at the heart of the Philippines. The country is bordered on the west by the South China Sea, on the east by the Philippine Sea, on the south by the Celebes Sea, and on the north by the Luzon Strait, which separates the country from its nearest neighbor, Taiwan. The closest nations to the south are Malaysia and Indonesia. Vietnam and China are the nearest neighbors on the mainland of Asia. The islands are volcanic in origin. Mount Pinatubo in central Luzon erupted in 1991 and 1992. Because the country is volcanic, the small islands have a mountainous center with coastal plains. Luzon has a broad central valley in the northern provinces along the Cagayan River and plains in the Midlands near Manila, the capital. Mindanao and Panay also have central plains. Northern Luzon has two major mountain ranges, the Sierra Madres on the eastern coast and the Cordilleras in the center. Demography. The average life expectancy is 67 years. 4% of the population is over age 65. The most populous area is metropolitan Manila, where 8 million to 10 million people live. Linguistic affiliation. The official languages are Filipino, which is based on Tagalog with words from other native languages, and English. Since only 55% of residents speak Filipino fluently. English is used in colleges, universities, the courts, and the government. The country's 70 to 80 dialects are derived from Malay languages. Three dialects are of national importance, Cebuano in the southern islands, Ilocano in the north, and Tagalog, the language of the national capital region. When Tagalog was chosen as the basis for a national language, Filipinos are proud that their country has the third largest number of English speakers in the world. Filipino English includes many Australian and British terms. It is a formal language that includes words no longer commonly used in American English. Spanish numbers and some Spanish words are included in the dialects. Symbolism. National symbols have been emphasized since independence to create a sense of nationhood. The Philippine eagle, the second largest eagle in the world, is the national bird. Dr. Jose Rizal is the national hero. Rizal streets and statues of Rizal are found in most towns and cities. Several municipalities are named for Rizal. The most prominent symbol is the flag, which has a blue horizontal band, a red horizontal band, and a white field. The flag is flown with the blue band at the top in times of peace and the red band at the top in times of war. Flag ceremonies take place once a week at all governmental offices. Schools have a flag ceremony each morning. All traffic stops while the flag is being honored. The national anthem is sung, a national pledge is recited in Filipino, and the provincial hymn is sung. Emergence of the nation. Early inhabitants are believed to have reached the area over land bridges connecting the islands to Malaysia and China. The first people were the Negritos, who arrived 25,000 years ago. Later immigrants came from Indonesia. After the land bridges disappeared, immigrants from Indochina brought copper and bronze and built the rice terraces at Banao in northern Luzon. The next wave came from Malaysia and is credited with developing agriculture and introducing carabao, water buffalo, as draft animals. 
Trade with China began in the 1st century CE Filipino ores and wood were traded for finished products. The occupation by Spain and the unifying factor of Catholicism were the first steps in creating a national identity. Filipinos became interested in attaining independence in the middle of the 19th century. National Identity Filipinos had little sense of national identity until the revolutionary period of the 19th century. The word Filipino did not refer to native people until the mid-19th century. Before that period, the treatment of the islands as a single governmental unit by Spain and the conversion of the population to Catholicism were the unifying factors. As a desire for independence grew, a national flag was created, national heroes emerged, and a national anthem was written. A national language was designated in 1936. National costumes were established. The sense of a national identity is fragile, with true allegiance given to a kin group, a province, or a municipality. Ethnic relations. 95% of the population is of Malay ancestry. The other identifiable group is of Chinese ancestry. Sino-Filipinos are envied for their success in business. They have maintained their own schools, which stress Chinese traditions. 70 to 80 language groups separate people along tribal lines. Approximately 2 million residents are designated as cultural minority groups protected by the government. The majority of those 60 ethnic groups live in the mountains of northern Luzon. People whose skin is darker are considered less capable, intelligent, and beautiful. Descendants of the Negritos tribe are regarded as inferior. Urbanism, architecture, and the use of space. The architecture of the islands shows Spanish influence. Spanish brick churches built during the colonial era dominate the towns. The churches are large and different from traditional construction. It is difficult to imagine how the indigenous population in the 17th century was able to build them. Seaports and government centers had a larger proportion of Spanish buildings with wide verandas and tiled roofs. Towns destroyed during the liberation campaign in World War II, especially in central and northern Luzon, were rebuilt using wood. Areas of Manila destroyed during World War II have been restored to their historical Spanish appearance. Newer buildings in Manila range from standard multi-story offices to western-style gated housing areas for the affluent, to tenements and shacks. Traditional houses in rural areas are nipa huts constructed of bamboo and roofed with leaves from palm trees or corrugated metal. The blocks are plastered and painted on the inside and outside when funds permit. Food in daily life. Filipinos do not consider it a meal if rice is not served. Plain steamed rice is the basis of the diet. Three crops a year are harvested to provide enough rice for the population, and the government keeps surpluses stored for times of drought. Salt water and fresh water of fish and shellfish are eaten daily, served either fresh or salted. Fish, chicken and pork are usually fried, although people are becoming more health conscious and often choose alternative methods of cooking. Garlic is added to food because it is considered healthful. Filipino food is not spicy. All food is cooked on gas burners or wood or charcoal fires and is allowed to get cold before it is eaten. Rice is cooked first, since it takes longer. When it is ready, rice will be placed on the table while the next items of the meal are prepared and served. Fruits are abundant all year. Several kinds of banana are eaten, including red and green varieties. Mangoes, the national fruit, are sweet and juicy. A fruit salad with condensed milk and coconut milk is very popular on special occasions. Vegetables are included as part of a soup or stew. Green beans and potatoes are commonly eaten foods. The leaves of camote, a sweet potato, are used as a salad and soup ingredient. Halo halo, which means mixture, is a popular dessert that consists of layers of corn kernels, ice cream, small gelatin pieces, corn flakes and shaved ice. Fast food has become part of the culture, with national and international chains in many towns. All meals at fast food restaurant include rice, although French fries also tend to be on the menu. A national chain, Jollibee, has entered the U.S. market with a restaurant in California, where many Filipino immigrants live. Food customs at ceremonial occasions. Leishan, a suckling pig that has been roasted until the skin forms a hard brown crust, is served at important occasions. The inside is very fatty. 
Strips of the skin with attached fat are considered the best pieces. Blood drained from the pig is used to make dinuguan. Sticky rice prepared with coconut milk and sugarcane syrup is wrapped in banana leaves. Basic economy. Agriculture, forestry, and fishing are the occupations of 40% of the 30 million people who are employed. Light manufacturing, construction, mining and the service industries provide the remainder of employment opportunities. People work seven days a week and take additional jobs to maintain or improve their lifestyle or pay for a child's education. Laws govern hours of work, insurance coverage, and vacation time, but workers may be exploited and mistreated. Land tenure and property. 19% of the land is arable and 46% consists of forests and woodlands. Deforestation by legal and illegal loggers with no tree replacement has reduced the number of trees. Large amounts of arable land remain in the hand of absentee landowners who were given land grants during the Spanish colonial period. Although land reform legislation has been passed, loopholes allow owners to retain possession. There is an ongoing demand to clear forests to provide farmland. The clearing technique is slash and burn. Environmentalists are concerned because timber is destroyed at random, eliminating the homes of endangered species of plants and animals. Commercial activities. The local market is a key factor in retail trade. Larger municipalities have daily markets, while smaller communities have markets once or twice a week. Markets are divided into dry markets where clothing and household items are sold and wet markets where food is sold. Electronic equipment, furniture, and clothing have fixed prices and are sold in stores or at kiosks. Shopping malls are found in most provincial capitals. Major industries. Metropolitan Manila is the primary manufacturing area, with 10% of the population living there. Manila and the adjacent ports are the best equipped to ship manufactured goods. Manufacturing plants produce electrical and electronic components, chemicals, clothing, and machinery. The provinces produce processed foods, textiles, tobacco products, and construction materials. Tourism in the Philippines. Tourism has been a major player in economic and social development. The industry is able to perpetuate and become a major business and employment provider for many Filipinos. The country is known for having its rich biodiversity as its main tourist attraction. Its beaches, heritage towns and monuments, mountains, rainforests, islands and diving spots are among the country's most popular tourist destinations. The country's rich historical and cultural heritage, including its festivals and indigenous traditions, are also one of the attractions of Philippines. Popular destinations among tourists are Cebu, Boracay, Palawan, Siargao, Baguio and many more. Despite the competition of the tourism industry among other ASEAN member countries, Philippines has garnered numerous titles related to tourism, namely the traditional capital of the world's festivities, the capital of the Western Pacific, the center of Hispanic Asia, the Pearl of the Orient Seas, the center of the Coral Triangle, the capital of fun. The country is also a biodiversity hotspot, having the world's highest endemism rate for bird species, and one of the highest for mammals and flora. It is also the largest bastion for Roman Catholicism in all of Asia. The country is also a home to one of the new seven wonders of nature. The Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, and one of the new seven wonders cities, the heritage city of Vigan. It is also home to six UNESCO World Heritage Sites scattered in nine different locations. Three UNESCO Biosphere Reserves, three UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage, four UNESCO Memory of the World Documentary Heritage, one UNESCO Creative City, two UNESCO World Heritage Cities, seven Ramsar Wetland Sites, and eight ASEAN Heritage Parks. The following are a portion of the Filipino culture that separates us from some other countries. We are tough. We invest wholeheartedly in our families. We are very religious. We are respectful. Helps with each other. We esteem customs and culture. Loves to party. Loves to eat. We have the longest Christmas festivities. Loves to sing and dance. Filipino men wants to play basketball. Loves to purchase new thing like devices. In summary, this lesson or video. 1. Describes the brief overview of the Philippines, its culture, traditions, and geographical feature. 
2, emphasizes the characteristics of the Philippine tourism in relation to culture. 3. Lastly, this video determines some of the characteristics of the Filipino people. I wish that you were able to instill new knowledge about the Philippine culture and geography. If you have any additional insights, please post your comment at the comment section below. Please also click subscribe button and notification bell so that you will be updated for the next lessons uploaded. Thank you very much and God bless.